So today we got a new battery from Golden Mate, the Orion 1000. Let's open it up. Now this looks like a really neat battery on their website. So I think we're in for some interesting stuff here. Now clearly these are some data cables. I think maybe this one is for connecting multiple batteries together for communications. And then here's another communication cable that it just has bare wires here that say, oh, it's a CAN bus. So it's CAN and RS-485. Oh, it came with some crimp terminals. That's awesome. It's very neat. It's kind of got like this army green case. It's very different from anything I've seen so far. And there's this big screen right here on top. There's a little touch thing right here. And that turns the screen on. Here, let's pull this off. All right. Well, how neat is that? And then there, here are those ports that those cables will plug into. And it looks like they go in one way, like maybe this way. Yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna have to look in the manual to see what these ports are all about. It look, But it definitely looks like some kind of communications. And like we do have little screws. So we're gonna be able to get into this battery quite easily. That's awesome. It's got these cool little handles on the side. Yeah, so this is a really neat rugged battery okay we've got a little bit of information here on the side let's see what this has to say it's a 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery lithium iron phosphate it says our charge voltage is 14.4 volts 14.6 max uh, we can charge at 50 amps we can discharge at 120 amps Oh look, and we got some little rubber pads here on the bottom so the battery doesn't slide around. That's a nice touch. I'm going to say that I think this is probably easily one of the coolest battery cases I've ever seen. All right, so right away, let's go ahead and charge this guy up. Okay, so we've got the charger hooked up. All right, so it's showing 407 watts coming in. Charging. <laughs> really neat. All right, we'll just let that guy charge up. All right, guys, the Orion 1000 is all charged up. Showing 100% stay to charge. So I want to take this opportunity to download the app. And I've already scanned the QR code. It came up in the Google Play Store, which is nice. So let's install it. It's uh, much nicer when it comes up in the Play Store instead of having to download it and get it installed side loaded not my favorite all right now we can open i wonder if it's this okay we're connected we're showing 13.9 volts showing the rated energy as 1391 hours yeah it's got a little warning here it says pack over voltage so uh one of the cells may have tripped that. That's fine. That's no big deal. I don't see where it's going to show us individual cell voltages. Now, let's also look at the manual here. You can clearly do four in parallel and four in series. And you can see that there is this cable connecting to each battery. So they are communicating with each other. All right, and here's the pinout of the plugs right here. So we've got RS-45 and we've got the CAN. Well, it says you actually can do 150 amp discharge for less than five minutes. Let's go ahead and hook this guy up to do a capacity test. All right, so we're all ready to do the capacity test. All we gotta do is turn on the inverter and we will start. We got the heater as the load. We're pulling 55.5 amps. Let's take a look at our little screen up here. There we are, we're showing 718 watts coming out of the battery. Let's take a look at the app. There we go, and the app is showing 712.5 watts coming out, 56 amps, showing the voltage, showing that we are in discharging state, and it seems to be working great. 
All right, so we'll let that continue and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, guys, so we have already actually uh, hit the full capacity. Uh, so we're at 0%, and we're currently at 101.69 amp hours. 1,271 watt hours. It actually still says 1% on the battery screen. Let's see if we can pull up the app. There we go. Yeah, so it's showing 1% uh, still on the app as well. 11.5 volts. It's still cruising along. <laughs> yeah, currently we are at 103 amp hours. Wow, check that out. We're at 104.4 amp hours. 1,302 watt hours. Wow, this battery is a beast. All right, guys, so the inverter is starting to complain, so we'll go ahead and kill the test right there. And we got 105.21 amp hours, 1,310 watt hours. That is a great result. All right, so now it's the moment that you've all been waiting for. It's time to open this thing up. All right, here we go. We can open it up. So I think, are these stainless? I think these are stainless. They seem like they're somewhat stainless, but they do still kind of stick to a, to a magnet, but not real strong. So they may be some kind of stainless. All right. And so here's our the back set of our screen. And we see the wires for that goes up here onto the BMS board here. And then we have those communication ports right there that come up and connect to the BMS board here. Yeah, we can even see 45 ground and CAN bus. We can see our Bluetooth radio right here. I definitely believe I see some temperature probes right here so I'm thinking that there's going to be low temperature protection just look at that BMS that is just glorious wow that's really neat so we've got two 8 gauge wires for the positive and then we've got two 8 gauge wires that go to the negative uh, the lid for the case looks like it has a seal in here so it definitely looks like it's going to be uh, somewhat watertight to a degree and then the cells down in there they do look like cylindricals and so the all the other golden mate batteries that we tested did have cylindrical cells as well it kind of looks like there's some screws right here and maybe the whole cell pack will come out so let's try that Okay, I think I've got all the screws out. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna come out, so let's try it on its side. Okay, oddly there were washers underneath I'm not sure why, but I heard them all falling out as I was removing the cells. So I guess we'll get those out of the way. I don't know why the washers would be on the bottom. Okay, so there's the case. It's got a little foam pad there at the bottom and some structure in here 
to align the cells up. So there's the whole cell pack out. And like I said earlier, they are definitely cylindrical cells. And they're encased in these cell holders. Let's see if we can find the thermal probes. Oh yeah, here they are. Oh wow, check it out. There's actually one, two, three, and four. So of course what we need to do is freeze those up and see if we can get it to stop charging. Oh, it actually goes inside. Oh, look at that. It goes deep inside there. Wow, they get these guys really did a cool job designing this this battery. Um, it's clearly there was some engineering behind this, and it's just not some kind of slap together pack like we're used to seeing on so many batteries. Well, not quite so much these days. That they seem like they're built a lot better these days, but there still are some that are kind of slapped together. So let's plug the charger in. So as you can see, we are charging wood 42.3 amps and I'm going to try to freeze this guy up here and get it to stop. Oh. There it goes. All right, so we do have low temp protection. It's nice. Let's warm it back up. We might have to restart the charge. Sometimes you have to disconnect and restart. There it is. All right, so we can see over here how the cells are welded. You can see that they're spot welded there and then there's a, just a whole, this whole tab sheet comes up and just bolts on to the BMS. It's a very neat construction. Yeah, this whole thing is just designed to be this battery. This whole BMS right here is specifically designed and built for this battery. That is incredible. I've only seen this maybe once or twice. Wow, that's impressive. This is a really awesome battery, guys. All right, I think that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think about this battery. I'll throw the links down in the description, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.